Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a dark and darker QA roundup. I wanted to give some props over to the DLC's podcast. Mr. Detract and Infidel had a fantastic conversation with the CEO of Iron Mace Games, where they talked about a plethora of new information and things that was going on beneath the hood. The first thing I wanted to talk about was maps. They were experimenting with different layouts of maps. They seem to likely have a modular design to these map layouts. They want to look for a variety of quote-unquote kick-ass maps. They've reiterated that maps are always going to be three floors. They're not sure if the maps will be rotated or selected. And in this, the CEO reiterated how alpha everything is, meaning that nothing is written in stone. And that's going to be a reoccurring theme of what goes on in the podcast. The next thing that was talked about in the podcast was cosmetics. They don't want to have anything that detracts too much from the visuals of the characters that you see on screen. They don't want anything that's from Fortnite, no pink bunny helmets or neon armors. They want everything to be specific to the culture of the dark and darker fantasy. They are confident in adding more to the emote wheel. They don't want anything that is pay to win, but there's still not too many details about what this is going to be. The next thing that was brought up in the podcast was weapons. It was asked if more class specific weapons would be added to the game, like how the wizard has the crystal sword. And the short answer to that is yes. And if it fits the classic fantasy feel, there's a high likelihood that it enters the game. There was also a question asked about ranged weapons, and off the cuff it seems like slings are uh, have a high possibility of being added along with the ideas of wrist crossbows. Again, stated, if you've seen it in other fantasy games, expect it in Dark and Darker. Another question that was asked was, are private lobbies planned? And as of right now, no. Lobbies, private lobbies are not planned. They want to meet their vision of the game before this is explored, and they announced that this is going to be a multi-year development. They want to support tournaments and things of that nature, and it's in the vision, but just not custom lobbies. But again, it was reiterated how nothing was written in stone. The CEO was asked if more races or classes would be added to the game, and the answer to that is yes. Different races are being planned and discussed. We don't want to just see humans. It wouldn't fit the lore or the fantasy set of the game, but we want the lore to be written for them before they're introduced. But they have a set time frame for how they want to achieve this. They want to add classes until we can't anymore. So that's interesting. An interesting question that was asked during the podcast was, how did the popularity accelerate the timeline? And they stated, we've made a roadmap and a schedule that we don't want to betray. We have our methods, we have our business plan, and we want to stay true to the mission statement, and that it is imperative that they go at their own pace. They also stated, if we can accelerate without damaging the product, we will. They mentioned that there is no fall damage right now, and there won't, and it's rather low on the priority list for them to do. The final question that was asked during the dev Q&A was what could we expect in the next update? The first thing was crafting. They wanted to try and introduce the first implementation, Tier 0, of crafting. They didn't give us a definitive of what that was or what it could be, but that's what they aim for. The next thing was a update to the wizard and his spells. They felt that he was a little underutilized or maybe even underpowered so that they wanted to re redo his skill set or add some new spells to his to his lineup. And the final thing that they wanted to aim for was attributes. Like the fact that agility, strength and willpower were really the only ones that had a lot of weight to the game. They wanted to introduce knowledge and resource resourcefulness to flesh them out and make them better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our dev Q&A roundup. Again, I want to thank Iron Mace Games and the DLC's podcast, Mr. Detrect and Infidel TTV. They did a great job. I'll get those links in the description. You can catch me live on Twitch every Friday at 1130 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'll have those links in the description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll see you either in the December playtest or sooner. And uh, 
Well, have a great time. All right, until then, guys, stay good.